hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video we are going to be starting a new series i have so many old synthetic and human hair wigs that i just don't use anymore have been sitting in my closet i want to do a revival series today's wig one of my ugliest cheapest wigs that i've had i love the colors don't get me wrong the colors are slay but the rest of the wig is just like giving old it's giving not too much lace in the front short lace it's a very cheap wig and i kind of want to transform it at the time when i bought it it was bulky like body wave type i think i'm gonna do the opposite and go straight i think it has potential to be a straight wig from here on out i'm just starting off by brushing the hair out uh, this is the most important step but it also is the step that takes the longest because it just takes forever especially when you have all of these knots in it and even when you think it's not getting knotted it's knotted so it's just a long process and even once I'm done as you can see it still is a little tangly in the middle but this is my little final look So this is one of those wigs where I feel like it's just lost all the movement in it. So once I brush out the hair and hopefully give it a nice trim, it will be bounceable, movable a little bit. So I am taking boiling water and pouring that on the wig directly. I'm also going to be putting in some fabric softener and this is going to help the synthetic wig. I also put a little bit of conditioner in and that's mostly for the smell. I also go back through and wash it again with the conditioner. Fabric softener is great, but the smell, it's very strong. So I kind of do that to combat the smell a little bit. It's a good strong, but it's just strong. And then I'm going in and putting the wig on. My goal here is to transform the wig, kind of turn it into something wearable. This is the hair once it's wet and i did wait for it to dry a little bit i just put it on my head and went in with my blender like i said this doesn't have a lot of lace on it so it wasn't a lot of blending that i had to do in the first place but my goal here was to make this wig look wearable again i feel like old wigs especially really cheap synthetic ones i often will just throw them out when i'm done with them but if you add a little bit of baby hairs and cut off the really i would say like coarse pieces it can really transform into a new wig or just be re-wearable so that was my goal here so i went in and cut the ends of the hair which i did appreciate the length i love a nice long wig but again those ends were i feel like unsalvageable and this wig was so thin the cheaper the wig the thinner the hair i feel like in every case but i feel like because the hair was so thin it being that long it just didn't really make sense or look good so i wanted to again cut it shorter but not too short and then i'm keeping the middle part only because i just feel like it couldn't really do a side part i feel like a middle part will just look best with this hair and I really just kept cutting it until I was comfortable. I am not a professional cutter. I think that is very, very obvious. Um, I just kind of go for it. I think I watched a YouTube video like five years or 10 years ago or something like that, where the girl instructed you to like cut at an angle downward. And I've cut like that ever since. So that is my, that is my credentials when it comes to cutting wigs, which is that I have none. I went in and I used my straightener and again this hair it's so thin and then it's also it's kind of like got an oily look to it I don't know how to describe it but I don't know it's just like got this really permanent shine to it that makes it look even more thin I also tried to give it like semi layers like I tried to layer it just a little bit because I thought that would be cute instead of it all being one length I feel like again with shorter hair it's always good to layer it make it look bigger make it look fuller I think it turned out pretty cute and I'm excited that this is the start of this series. I have a few more wigs that I definitely want to show you guys. I'm so excited to start this series because, you know, we got to revive these wigs. We cannot keep throwing them out. They can have at least two more lives out of them. At least two. We have options. So let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.